Hey guys, Kane Second here, back with another video, and surprisingly enough, I am not using my camera stand. I literally have my phone on top of the refrigerator. So before I start um, my lovely introduction, I just want to show you all the lovely stuff we have in the garage. And that is because my dad just recently moved in, and we didn't really get that much stuff upstairs. But anyways guys, so um, it's currently 9 o'clock at night, and tomorrow... Tomorrow is the day that we're going to Bozeman, Montana. I can't wait. I'm really excited. I promise that I'll try to take as many pictures and videos as I can and upload on here, can first, my Instagram, your typical a typical, my DVR, Artistic Maniac 16. I know, lovely username. If not, then I'll still try to take a decent amount and, like I said, post on all the social medias that I just mentioned. But, um, yeah, uh, for the last couple days, I've been packing all my stuff. I actually had to, uh, reorganize all my stuff while I was packing it in the suitcase, because I want to try my very best to not forget anything. Not even one thing, which most likely that'll probably be the case, but I seriously don't want to forget two or more things. But anyways, guys, um, I still want to do a lot of stuff tonight before I have to, you know, start getting things ready for Montana tomorrow. So, I'll go now and see you tomorrow morning. Okay, guys. So, it's currently the next morning at 9 a.m. Actually, no. It's a little over 9 a.m. I'm really excited to go to Montana. Um, I'm about to eat breakfast really soon. In fact, I have my breakfast with me. See? Well, I don't want to spill anything because I have my camera angled in a weird way. So, um, yeah. You know what? Hold on. Let me try something. This is what I'm having for breakfast. It's sort of like um, like scrambled eggs mixed with ham and bacon, stuff like that, you know. But um, yeah, once I finish eating that, my dad and I, we're going to go over all my stuff and all of his stuff. Stuff like that, you know, before we go out to the airport and put our stuff in the plane and get everything checked and stuff like that. So um, yeah, but that won't be for a couple hours though, so for now... I'll just sit back and enjoy my breakfast. Oh god, it's kind of hot. Okay guys, so it's currently around 9.30. My dad, he's still doing a work call. So I'm out here sitting on the lovely couch before we get a new couch. And just waiting for him to finish his call so we could go over all of our stuff. Once we do that... Most likely, we're probably going to head our way to the airport, because why the hell not? But anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later when I get to the airport. So, yeah, see you then.
Okay guys, so it's currently around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm out here in the Salt Lake City Airport and my dad, he's not here because he went to go and get coffee. But um, yeah, overall, I really like the, uh, the flight from LAX to Salt Lake City. Uh, there were some times where it was like really bumpy, really rocky, really crazy and chaotic. But other than that, I really liked it. I also really liked how there were uh, many TVs they could go and watch news channels or movies or tv shows stuff like that you know i really enjoy doing that so yeah i'm just basically waiting for my dad to go get coffee and once he gets back we'll attend our flight to bozeman so see you then okay guys so it's currently around like six is it like around six oh wow my dad's uh, disappearing but anyways, it's around 6 o'clock and we made it to the Bozeman Airport and uh, sorry that I'm covering my face all the way because of um, because of my neck gator. Uh, I need to cover my face to prevent COVID, right dad? Yeah. But yeah, anyways, um, some crazy stuff happened and my dad accidentally booked the rental car for tomorrow and same with the hotel. Luckily, we got the whole hotel thing figured out, but we're actually going to have to Uber it to Bozeman tonight. So that'll be pretty interesting. Oh yeah, that's the temperature right now if you're wondering. Um, what? Yeah, good clothes. But yeah, I'm just wearing a jacket and a couple shirts and pants and my beanie and my uh, neck gator and I'm like perfectly fine. I mean, yeah, it is a little chilly, but I mean, it's definitely nice to get some weather every once in a while at least. Because in Southern California, there's no weather at all. But anyways, uh, I'll talk to you later when we get to Bozeman. Look at the lovely food I got. Look at my dad's food. Look how lovely that is. How do you like it so far? I like it. I've only had two bites of steak, but it's pretty good. Yeah, it needs more salt though. But yeah, um, my food, as you can tell, I got... Um, Chicken tenders, mashed potatoes, fries, really I good. It was a chicken fried steak, all cut up in small pieces. What? Yeah, because the mashed potatoes, that's, it looks like chicken fried steak when they put the mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah, on top. kind of. You know what I'm talking about? Kind of. And here's my dad's beer that he got wow. to get drunk. Wow. Okay guys, so it's currently around like 9.15 or something. I'm not 100% sure, uh, let me check. Oh shoot, I was wrong. It's actually 9.30. Um, so we did a lot of stuff. Well, not really. I mean, other than the fact that we went to Outback Steakhouse, we ate some lovely food. We went shopping at Target. We actually had to walk there since uh, we don't have our rental car yet. Well, despite the, the Uber drive that we uh, got uh, from earlier in the evening. But uh, yeah, it was really fun. Uh, the weather is pretty chilly. Nice winds, nice breeze. Definitely not Southern California weather, that's for sure. But anyways, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow morning when we're on our way to Yellowstone National Park. Good morning, everyone. How foggy it is. It's so foggy and so incredibly cold and what do you think of this weather so far oh, i like it it's good it's nice and cool not like in southern california that's for sure but anyways um we're waiting for uber to come and pick us up so we could get our rental car for real and we just had breakfast here at the lovely hotel the breakfast was uh pretty good i mean yeah it could have been better but i mean we had to do it for free to save money right dad that's right. We don't have Oh. Well, I believe the breakfast was free, but anyways guys, so uh, yeah, we're just waiting for a lovely vehicle to come and I'll talk to you when we actually go and do something. Look at how the leaves shake when the wind uh, hits the tree. Don't you think that's pretty crazy? I know, right? And there's the sun covered in the fog. But yeah, seriously, look 
how foggy it is. It's crazy. Okay guys, so it's currently around 11.20 in the morning and sorry for the music because I don't care about copyright. Okay, well my dad does at least. But anyways, uh, we're, we're gonna go head out somewhere. I don't know where. Um, we're just gonna, you know, check out the city, see how Bozeman is, see what it's like. And um, it's definitely warming up. It's around low, mid 40s, I think. I don't know, the car says it's like 38, but the car's a little bit inaccurate with everything because it's a uh, Nissan Rogue. That's a car, that's a rental car that my dad rented. And uh, it's quite cheap actually, don't you think? No. I think it is. Okay, well not really. But anyways guys, um, so yeah, we're just gonna go out to Bozeman or whatever, uh, just to check out the city. And I'll talk to you when we get there. Ah! Look at the beautiful mountains, guys. Look at how beautiful this is. So gorgeous out here. That'll be really nice to live out here despite the cold weather. Okay guys, so uh, as you can tell, we're in the forest now, and surprisingly enough, like I said yesterday, we're going to Yellowstone today. Right, Dad? Alright. Well, it's a little weird how I said it, but um, yeah, there's a lovely river that uh, probably takes you to the big giant uh, lake in Yellowstone. Here's the beautiful pine trees that um, are basically resistant to any kind of weather, and you got the grass very dry brown grass but yeah we're just uh heading our way to yellowstone and i'll get back to you when something pretty appears
Okay, so we are currently heading our way to the Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center. It's like an hour away, like 55 more miles left. We just passed the Karst Trailhead in the National Forest of I don't know where we are, but it's wooded and thick. And there's a beautiful river right next to us on the right. Yep, there, there it is. There's a guy back about a mile away fly fishing in it. Because he's a tryhard. But anyways, uh, so yeah, that's where we're heading. Uh, it's actually in uh, West Yellowstone, which will be very interesting because West Yellowstone, according to my Google Maps, it's literally like in the border of Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho. So we're basically going to be passing through three states at the same time. But anyways, uh, I'll talk to you later when we get closer to the Discovery Center. Okay, so uh, just looking at this sign, you could probably tell that one Yellowstone National Park officially after 30 more minutes of driving since I made the last video. So yeah, um, one Yellowstone National Park right now. I think technically we're still in Montana, not Wyoming or Idaho, whatever. It's definitely a little chilly. I think it's like um, high 50s, low 60s. But I'm fine though, cause um, we're in a God, my stupid thing. Views, as you can tell, are really, really nice. But yeah, I'm gonna be going now because uh, my dad and I were gonna be taking some selfies, uh, just like what most girls do. And I'll talk to you when we get to our final destination. Okay, so as you can tell, we are heading our way to a major storm. Major. Well, I'm pretty uh, sure it's gonna be major. I don't know if it's major. Okay, well, maybe not major, but. The storm definitely does look pretty big with the clouds I'm seeing right now. The weather has cooled down a lot. It's uh, low, mid 50s, uh, according it's to the 52. car. See? It's lower than mid. Yeah. It's Technically mid. lower than mid. Um, but then again, I mean, we're in the rental car and it's a little bit inaccurate. But yeah, it's definitely cooling down a lot. And look at the trees. How beautiful this is. But, um... Looks like it's gonna rain. We were going to the Grizzly Wolf Discovery Center, but maybe it'll start raining and we won't be able to go. And then we'll have to turn back. Maybe it'll be closed. I hope not. How thick the trees are. Oh wow, yeah. It's definitely thick. Thick trees. Thick but yeah, anyways, um, I'll talk to you when it starts raining because why not?
Okay, so I was right. It is raining hard. So I was right the entire time, yeah. Right. Yep, I was right. Cause just Cause just by looking at those clouds I knew that the rain was gonna drop down really hard. But uh yeah, uh this is what we have to drive through for the next uh 10 15 minutes. So uh that'll be a lot of fun. Don't you think so? Yep, it will be a lot of fun. Okay guys, so um, we're out here now in the Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center. And yes or no, it looks really weird whenever I talk with my mask on, but that's how it is, at least in today's world. And uh, we're just checking out the place, seeing how it is. Fortunately, I have to be really quiet because, of course, there's a lot of animals out here. So uh, I may not talk most of the time, but that's how it is. The raven up there somewhere. Look at that guy. Look what this guy's doing. Look at him. What the heck? Poor owl. Bigger than your average crow in Southern California, that's for sure. And then look at that hawk. He's, uh, where is he? Right there. Big he is. There's another one out there somewhere. Mm -hmm. there's, there's another one out there somewhere. Ooh. Look at him, how big he is. Nothing in here. Nothing in there.
Better watch out, Raven. Look at this grizzly bear. Look at him. How fat he is. So fat. He must have been eating too many hot pockets lately. Look at him. He's going through the rocks for like more food or something. Look at his mouth. Stupid raven. Wait. Where'd it go? It went out there somewhere. And then when he walks, he walks so slow because he's so fat. But yeah, there's a real grizzly bear for you guys. There it is, the real grizzly bear. Okay guys, so it's currently around like 3 o'clock now and we are heading our way back to Bozeman. We were going to check out a little bit more Yellowstone, but unfortunately, because of the whole COVID lockdown thing, I guess Yellowstone's closed. But hey, how hard it's raining now. In fact, I don't think that's rain. I think that's like hail or something. I might be wrong, but anyways guys, uh, I'm going to flip my camera to record the hail like sweet storm. I don't know. So apparently, I don't know what you would call this. Uh, I think this is like a mixture of rain and snow or hail or something. I don't know. Chubby rain. Chubby rain. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it chubby rain because the rain pellets are really hard and fast. But yeah, thankfully we're in our car now because this is this is ridiculous. This is like I think it's literally snowing. Technically this is this is snow. Okay guys, so as you can tell we're back in our hotel because the TV is on and my dad's just in his bed looking at his phone for some really weird reason but yeah anyways guys uh we got back to the hotel show land safely the weather was really crazy on yellowstone it was by far one of the craziest weather i've seen in a long long time well despite the one time where i saw this crazy thunderstorm and i was actually in it out on the uh, grand canyon a couple summers ago that was pretty crazy but uh this by far was just as bad in a different way but yeah um we're back in our hotel uh we're just gonna chill out for the next i don't know a couple hours before we get tired and go to bed and tomorrow will be a really crazy day because there's gonna be a blizzard well according to my phone they're supposed to i'll see you tomorrow morning and have a lovely night everyone